Hi, I'm Rahul, and today I'm going to talk about Louis Pasteur, Robert Kaw, and Joseph Lister, and speak about their significant impacts to science, and specifically bacteriology. First, a little history. Louis Pasteur was born in France in 1822 and was a chemist and microbiologist. He discovered the process of pasteurization, which is the heat treatment process that destroys pathogenic microorganisms in certain foods, namely wine, beer, and milk, which is still used today. Robert Kaw was born in Germany in 1843. He is referred to as one of the founders of bacteriology as he found the bacteria responsible for tuberculosis and cholera. Joseph Lister was born in England in 1883 and was a British surgeon and medical scientist. Scientists. Although his antiseptic medicine is not still used today, his concept that bacteria must never gain entry to any operation wound, the concept known as sterility, still remains the basis of surgery. Although their discoveries were great, they were always not in agreement. Louis Pasteur and Robert Kaw were constantly in disagreement and were known as rivals during their time. They were both doing work on germ theory, which was based on Lister's antiseptic. One of their major points of disagreement was between bacteria. Co and his scientists regarded bacteria as unalterable, meaning that it could not be changed. However, when Pasteur developed a vaccination for cholera, he was required to change the bacterial strand, which disproved Co's initial hypothesis. This intense rivalry between two intelligent scientists is said to be the golden age of bacteriology, as a lot of scientific innovation happened due to the discoveries of both of these men. Perhaps their biggest contribution to science came in germ theory. This theory is the concept that microorganisms can cause disease, and the theory is the foundation for modern medicine. Since the ancient Greeks, many theories have been proposed to determine why human diseases develop. However, in the 19th century, with the advancements in the microscope, microbiologists such as Coe and Pasteur were able to analyze the development of bacteria which caused the diseases to determine their progression. Using the new knowledge acquired about the development of diseases, Pasteur discovered several new strains of bacteria. Using scientific techniques such as pasteurization, he was able to create the strains of bacteria which were less harmful, which could be used in vaccinations to stimulate the body to develop resistance to it. After Pasteur's work, the task that laid ahead included to determine exactly which bacteria causes the specific diseases. Coach developed four criteria to identify agents of a particular disease to do this. First, the microorganism or other pathogen must be present in all cases of the disease. Second, the pathogen can be isolated and grown in pure culture. Third, the pathogen from pure culture must cause a disease when inoculated into a healthy, susceptible laboratory animal, mostly mice. Fourth, the pathogen must be re-isolated from the new host and shown to be the same as the originally inoculated pathogen. Two decades, the discoveries of Pasteur and the four postulates of Koch allowed fellow scientists to positively identify 21 disease-causing microorganisms and develop vaccines. Based on his work, Koch was nominated and awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1905 in recognition to his contribution to bacteriology and the understanding of disease. Although they may not have been best of friends, Koch, Pasteur, and Lister all impacted the field of science and microbiology greatly. The question for today is how would the medical field have developed without the discovery of the vaccine?